Al Rashid Mosque, constructed in 1938, was Canada's first mosque. Originally located at 101 Street and 108 Avenue, Edmonton, Alberta. It was moved a few blocks away in 1946. Today, it is preserved at Fort Edmonton Park. Molana Abdul Alim Siddiqui was instrumental in establishing a Rashid Mosque with the local Arab community. A few months later, the cornerstone of this building was laid by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, translator of the meanings of Holy Quran. The first Mohammedans, as white Canada called them, them, arrived on the Paris more than 100 years ago, leaving homes in Middle East and Southeast Asia in search of prosperity and often fleeing wars and conscription. At first they framed or trapped like so many immigrants and some opened stores. Mother were eager to move to town so that their children could be educated and learn English. By the early 1900s there was a small Muslim community in Edmonton and fundraising for mosques started in 1930s. The building is squat and square, made of red brick. It looks well like a church. And indeed, the man who drew up the plans in 1930 had experience only with churches. But silver domes gleam on these buildings to his tower and each one is crowned by a crescent moon. This is North America's oldest mosque called the Al-Rashid. It was built by children of Muslim farmers and fur traders. Peoples whose stories don't often make the history books. Erected in 1938, it served the burgeoning Muslim population of Edmonton faithfully for 50 years, but it's small, just 30 by 50 feet, and eventually it fell into disuse as newer, bigger mosques were built. And it was very nearly demolished for a parking lot, until a feisty group of women, Muslims from all ethnic heritages, fought City Hall and to have it declared a heritage building and moved into the Fort Edmonton Park historic site. Al-Rashid Mosque was saved, but is still empty most of the time. The women hope that when refurbishment is finished, it can be used on occasions such as Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. And they are pleased to see it settled there in part. At the end of a row of 1920s shops, a red brick testament to the long presence of Muslims in their country. Inside there are no pews, no altar, just a stream of light from six arched windows and rich Persian carpets on the floor. There is a podium at the front on which a copy of the Quran rests in a gilt box and an arched qibla built into the wall showing the direction to Mecca. In the depression years nobody had much money for the project. All the Muslim families in town contributed what they could. So did Arab Christians. It was finally finished in 1938 built on a small plot near center of town, on land donated by the city. Once there was a heavy green velvet curtain that could be pulled out to divide women's section. It has been folded away, but in one corner stands the wash basin and proclaimed jug that the faithful used to wash for prayers in the days before indoor plumbing. 
The mosque became the heart of the community, drawing Muslims from all over, including those who headed for Edmonton simply because they heard there was a mosque there. Yeah.